Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard, and today guys, we are back with Phoenix 4. Um, we are checking out a different view on Phoenix 4 here than I've done before. Uh, this view is the chase view. It's uh, pretty cool, it's really detailed. If you guys remember um, when I did the, uh, uh, what is it, the 6.5, the real flight 6.5, the chase was a little bit further back. This one is actually quite a bit closer, and it's uh, it seems to be a little bit more detailed. We can do a free flight. We have a nice lake out here. Let me just uh, try to get it uh, nice and calm for you guys. We have a nice lake here. I'm doing a little uh, knife blade, I suppose is what they, they call it. Um, and we it's just it's really cool. It's I like this chase view. Let me know if you guys like the chase view as well. I can do a uh, chase view and then we will come in for a landing here and we're going to try checking out the uh, cockpit view which I think is a little bit more difficult to control but it's still pretty cool. So we'll see if we can actually land here. Bring it down nice. Oh, I think we crashed. I believe we crashed there. Yep, we crashed. So we'll uh, we'll try it, try it one more time here see if we can if, if we can uh, bring it in for a nice landing. But uh, yeah, the guys, this is the chase view, and it's pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty. It's pretty neat. Um, it's got, like I mentioned, it's got some good uh, detail to it. And hopefully this time we can land without any issues. There we go. We landed. It was a little bit rough. A little bit rough. But now we're gonna switch it over to the uh, cockpit view here. And you guys can see what that uh, looks like. So let me just uh, line back up on the ramp here and hang tight. I'll be right back, folks. Hey, guys, we are back. And this here is the cockpit view. It looks pretty cool. We're using the Beast biplane. Um, it's a little bit more uh, difficult. I, I like that it has like a cockpit view. But um, as I mentioned, guys, it's a little bit more difficult to see uh, kind of where you're you're at and it's a little bit more jumpy I think than the chase view because it's it, you can't really see all that's going around you can pretty much only see in the very front of the cockpit here so I'm gonna try bringing this thing down hopefully we can uh, land this one oh I think we're running out of runway here yeah we ran out of runway big time <laughs> but we landed <laughs> so this is what the cockpit view looks like it's uh, it's definitely a little bit more tricky than the chase view. Hey guys, we are back, and this is the uh, regular view that you guys are probably used to seeing. It's the one that I usually play all the time. So um, I just wanted to show you guys those other couple of views that they have in here. Um, I still think I like this view the best. Um, there's this one, and there's one that always has the ground in view as well, which is pretty cool. Um, this one, uh, however, this one is kind of where you can kind of see the tricks that you're doing and that sort of thing. Um, gives you a, a little bit more of an idea. But uh, I'm really happy that you guys are liking these videos. I'm, I, I know I've mentioned before, I'm very surprised how well these um, RC Flight Sim vids do. But I'm going to definitely keep on making them for you guys. I'll probably switch between Phoenix 4 and Real Flight 6.5. Just because it, it uh, you know, there I have them both, and they are both really, really good, in my opinion. They're both really good. Let's see if we can. Oop! Oh, we crash there. I like them both a lot. They're they're really cool. Um, if you guys know of any types of planes that you'd like me to try flying, um, I can definitely try doing those. Uh, the Beast is probably the Beast is my favorite plane. I would say on on Phoenix 4 just because it's it's just a cool biplane it's very acrobatic it's nice very smooth flowing I think and I just have a lot of fun with this one I mean our gas is really low or not um, my throttle is really low I'll put it that way doing those slow turns and that sort of thing and it's a little bit more difficult um, it uses up a little bit more memory when you're trying to do the free world looks like uh, you use for the chase view and also the cockpit view. I might hit a tree there. Nope, guess not. So it 
it doesn't really um, do it all that well justice when you're in this view, but it's still quite cool. I mean, you can't you can't really see uh, the lake or anything in the background. I can try bringing it down a little bit. No, you can't you can't really see it out there, but that's all right. Um, I'm gonna try bringing this thing in for a landing here, and I don't think I'm lined up properly. Because uh, I think I'm kind of... We'll see here. We'll just try to do a little flyby. Oh, we hit a, hit a tree. <laughs> hit a tree. That's all right. Oh, yeah. That was a cool stall. So I'm going to switch over to a regular uh, map right now, guys. So hang tight, and I'll see you guys soon. Hey, guys, we are back. And uh, we are back at the regular view. I wanted to show you guys this. Um, if I can get the uh, controller out of the way there. Um, one of the additions that they have on here, if you look at it right next to the controller right now, look at that, guys. They have the micro beast in this level. It's uh, definitely pretty cool. Um, the real beast that we have, this thing's about, the one that we're using is about six feet long. I mean, the thing's just ginormous. And the, uh, one that's on the ground right there, that is the little micro, uh, micro beast. It, I thought it was pretty cool that they have that little, the package in there and then also the plane. So I wanted to show you guys that is something funny that I found in this level that I think is definitely cool. But, uh, yes, this is... The uh, regular, we just crashed again, but this is a user-created, um, uh, what is this one called? The Flying Sight is the Genderkinden Airport. So it uh, it actually, it's a user-created level, so it's uh, pretty cool. And I guess with the user-created levels, I think they... I'm not sure how they make the user-created levels, but it's definitely cool. And I wanted to show you guys that. Um, just because I think it's really cool that they have user-created levels on here. Um, the, the, the view that I'm using right now actually keeps uh, the, um, the ground in view the whole time. So it, it, it's kind of help. Usually I use the uh, just the free zoom type thing. Not free zoom, but the uh, regular zoom. And it just keeps your plane all zoomed in. But this one actually keeps the uh, ground in view everywhere you're flying. So it definitely helps if you're trying to start out um, flying these airplanes. Because then you pretty much know where the ground is. And it's a lot less likely that you're going to crash into them. Um, so wanted to uh, give you guys a uh, idea on that do a couple of little funky twists and it's pretty cool because they have planes around here um, a little air airport which is uh, definitely cool we're gonna bring this thing thing in for landing oh maybe not we won't do that quite yet let's fly out this way and maybe we can bring it in for a better landing Oop, oop. Nope, we crashed. <laughs> I certainly have been crashing a lot. Uh, that's, and you know what, guys? It's going to happen. But crashing it this way is a heck of a lot better than actually going out and flying a plane and crashing that plane that you spent a lot of money on. It just, uh, it's, it's a lot cheaper. So, sure, the Sims cost a little bit more money to start out with. But uh, they are well worth it if, if they can improve your flying skills. And they have, which is absolutely awesome. Um, it will, it definitely gets you ready for when you do have, that was a junky landing right there. Definitely gets you ready for when you actually do have a plane. And I, I know I've mentioned before, I do plan on having a plane at some point. So um, hopefully that's not going to count as a crash right there. Kind of a bummer if it did. But guys, uh, yeah, this is Pool Shark Wizard. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm very happy that you guys are enjoying these videos. And I am actually, I'm going to be, uh, I will continue posting videos on these. Um, at first I did it just to show 
you know, that I that I had them and that sort of thing if people wanted to see them. But surprisingly, as I mentioned before, surprisingly, uh, you guys are really, really liking them. Um, the the first one that I had with uh, Real Flight 6.5 or 6.0, the very first RC flight sim that I put out, that thing, um, I think it has over 5,500 views on it now. So that is... Uh, pretty pretty insane and I'm gonna see if I can't just uh, drive the plane over here um, right by the the micro one maybe oh I hit it <laughs> that's a good way to end it thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time take care bye bye